So Awaiting the King is the culmination of what we've called the Cultural Liturgies Project, which has included Desiring the Kingdom and Imagining the Kingdom. And in that sense, uh, this book is a way to think about politics liturgically. That is, to consider our public lives, our shared communal lives, our political lives through this lens of um, ritual, through the lens of liturgical analysis. And there, there are two implications of that, sort of two sides of that project. On the one hand, that means seeing politics as ritual, right? To see uh, the state, to see the rituals of our public life as not just something that we do, but as practices that are doing something to us. And so it wakes us up to the formative and maybe deformative and malformative power of our participation in political institutions and, and practices. In that sense, I think part of the goal is to offer a, a theological account of our cultural assimilation, of the ways that we've uh, um, sort of seeded our Christian imagination to uh, a, a less than Christian way of seeing the world. So on the one hand, I want us to see political life and our public engagement as its own sort of liturgical, formative experience. On the other hand, I also want us to now look at the church, to look at the practices of Christian worship and see that those are also political. So the state is religious and the church is political. Not, of course, in the sense that it's partisan, that it's tied to some political party, but in the sense that worship is the civics of the city of God, that the rhythms and rituals of the people of God gathered around word and table is really, it's how we are being shaped as citizens of the coming kingdom. It's where we find our center of gravity in what God desires for the world. It's, it's where we learn to imagine the vision of flourishing and shalom and fullness that God wants to see realized so that we are then sent from there into the messiness of the earthly city to bear witness to that coming kingdom. Awaiting the king is the culmination of this cultural liturgies project, and it ends with a focus on the king, <laughs> that we are, are a people whose political vision is animated by a vision of the king who's coming. And I think that means that we have to learn to sort of walk a line between quietism and activism. Um, we're not just sitting around twiddling our thumbs, not caring about our shared common public life. We are waiting for the king. But we're not activists in the sense that we think we're going to bring this about. We wait actively. Uh, we are uh, um, caught up in what God is doing in the world and the formative practices of the church shape us as a people who are then shaping the world for kingdom come.